everybody, thank you for joining me, Kate May Modern Day Mystic, on my YouTube channel. So today we are looking at the Chinese New Year, Happy Chinese New Year, it is the Year of the Ox. So what does that mean? It's all about hard work. In China, um, it's known as the Lunar New Year or Spring Festivities, it marks the end of the winter um, and I think that the, sound, the, the pronunciation of the new Lunar year i love that that sounds great so it's a recognition of the end of the winter coming into the spring and bringing hope into into new life into the new year so the ox is this year the metal ox and it's a valued animal in chinese for its role of agriculture hard work positive honest loyal logical intelligent Everyone wants to be an ox, don't they? And uh, fit for leadership roles. So some, you might find if you're a Taurus and you've got the bull connection, you may find that you actually do connect to that. Although it's, it's pre predominantly based on the Chinese New Year. So you'll have to have a look at what your Chinese star sign is, your Chinese symbol is. Mine is the rabbit. So in a minute, we'll be looking at how it's going to affect each of the signs. So, um, yeah, so the hard work and sign of positive, honest. It symbolises abundance, symbolises strength, symbolises determination and predominantly work ethics and growth. So this is a, a good year. If you're a hard worker, this is going to be a good year. If you're a little bit of a lazy bones, you may struggle a little bit. So working alongside others can also benefit you here. Wait a minute, my um, screen's gone all weird. Um, working with others will also benefit you this year. Working in teams or collaborating with others may also help um, to bring stronger communities um, and to bring a, a stronger foundation there. Uh, and, like, and almost like to bring a stronger sense of community here. So, you know, look, usually we can't get out at the moment, but usually in your streets, in your Chinese, we have it down our local gun wharf, but um, the Chinese streets are adorned with dragons, reds, golds, fabric, all representing riches and fortunes, dancers, uh, lions, you know, they, they celebrate it um, in such a lavish way. It's always amazing to watch. And the Chinese, um, usually they've cu it is custom that they have a family meal together. So at home rather than at a, a restaurant, you know, we can only dream about that now, can't we? Having families together. Um, and they they carry on through the night with fireworks and, and talking about, you know, happy times and just enjoying good company really and obviously good food. Then over the next few days, the elders um, give the children red envelopes, usually with money in it, uh, to, um, to bring in prosperity, good luck, and long healthy life, but also to warn off evil energies, the red envelope there. So um, the Chinese, you know, they celebrate Chinese New Year today, but quite often we like to as well. Sometimes in a, you know, in a few days time, you may see some of the, um, what do you call them? Lanterns, the lanterns go up as well, but obviously over time they've realized that I, I, that it can damage some of the wildlife and, and the little animals. So I think they've found a, a safer way of doing that now. So let's have a little look, shall we? Let's have a little look at what I've put here for um, for each of your signs. So I've blended the tarot and I've blended some uh, information that I found from Susan Levitt um, into, into some words here with your tarot scopes of what it actually means, what's going to be happening for you. So if you are a rat, that was your year last year. Um, but this year, it's the year of the ox. So how does that connect to you rats? Now, rats and oxes are lucky together because the ox is your mate. It's like being boss with, uh, having your boss as, as your mate there. Or having your, your mate as your boss, one or the other. So um, you may get a little bit of leeway, rats, this year. But the ox does expect hard work and you are being asked to remain focused and finish your plans now. So put in more commitment and show dedication, rats. More work effort will benefit you, okay? Um, your um, sign this year, your tarot this year. Let's have a little look here. Where have we gone to? Um, da, da, da. The rat is the emperor. So the emperor. So setting boundaries are gonna be important for you rats. Um, 
being prepared to step up in your game and if you want results you've got to put the effort in ask for help from other people or take support from those in the know that's you rats okay so oxes who's an ox or a buffalo I'm, I'm a, like I say, I'm a Taurus. Uh, I've got a little bit of there, although I'm a rabbit, but I will take a little bit of the ox's energy. So this is your year. You can see why I'm going to take it, can't you? Uh, while others are working hard, oxes, you can reap the benefits of previous, previous work. So it's a year where... Um, should be quite positive all round for you. Now, most oxes will still want to work. They're not ones to be lazy, so you'll probably still want to work, but you can just chill out a little bit more. You don't have to sit and be lazy, although you could, but things are just gonna be a bit more easier. So you can enjoy the fruits of your labor, if you like. You are the boss babe this year, oxes. And your tarot message is the empress. Now, the empress asks you to spend time nurturing yourself, pampering yourself, treating yourself, full of abundance, full of positive energy here. Take time to connect to nature, enjoy your roots, not these kind of roots, but enjoy your roots, you can see we've got locked down. Um, and pay attention to your body, your mind, body and soul. Nurture your mind, body and soul as well. So eat healthy, drink healthily. But it's a good abundant year for you oxes. Okay, then we have uh, the tiger. So the tiger, you may find this work this year is a little bit hard work and a bit frustrating. You've got to do a bit of adapting tigers this year. You're being asked to be more serious this year. Don't let things get to you emotionally. Stay alert, stay focused, um, particularly stay in focus on the end goal. And if you can do this, then next year is going to be a much more profitable one for you. Next year is your year. So then you can relax. But at the moment, it's all steam ahead focus on your projects, finish projects, tie up any loose ends, tigers. And your tarot card is the six of wands, the six of wands. So you can reach milestones this year, tigers. Enjoy any success you do have, but remember to keep going, not letting any celebrations go to your head. You will have a lot of people rooting for you to succeed. You have the endurance to keep going even further than you first think. Now we have the rabbit, which is my year. So anyone born in 1975 is going to be a rabbit. Like I said, you can check out your um, Chinese years. It is on my blog. If you want to read the blog, it is on there, all the dates. But here I'm just recapping, really. So the rabbit. Um, now you may feel, again, frustrated with projects that they might take longer than you first thought or delays in your plans. But that doesn't mean that it's a write-off. Just slow down, remember, remember that old little um, story where the, I know we're a rabbit, not a hare, but where the tortoise and the hare, and it was the hare that won, uh, sorry, it was the tortoise that run, won. So remember, slow and steady. This year's not the best year to make sudden changes. Instead, build a foundation strong enough to carry you three through. Be flexible and patient and resist making quick actions, okay, or quick decisions. Properly put plans into place and work through them thoroughly and methodically. And your tarot message is the Ace of Swords. You will have many moments of clarification and breakthroughs. But equally, you could, be, you could over worry and may stress and you may lose focus. I need to keep an eye on the times, okay, and uh, and lose and lose a little bit of focus there. So try to leave your worries behind. Try to draw a line under what has gone on. Make way for new thinking. Make way for new directions, and try and be simpler with things. Think, use think, do things that are a bit less hassle. Okay, we have the year. Uh, then we have the dragon. So who's a little dragon then? This year is a lucky one for you, mostly dragons. You will have to work. Uh, for your supper but expect steady progress throughout especially if you have worked hard in previous years now you can enjoy a little bit of a, a chill out time but don't be too lazy you will otherwise you'll expect a slower return with the ox's energy you're being expected to work and not just dream okay so being grounded will help you snakes the uh, dragons there and your message is the t six of pentacles the six of pentacles so find a balance between your finances if you're looking for a bit of extra cash you may get it and if you're feeling extra flush you may want to help other people pay off debt clear things up maybe do look at voluntary or charity works here find a balance between your material approaches okay 
Okay, then we have the snake. My little snakes, where are they? Okay, so the snake um, could be a better year than last year. The ox blends in a harmonious triangle with the, so the ox and the rooster this year. Uh, so, sorry, the ox blends in a harmonious way with you snake and the rooster. So your work will be rewarded, but you will need to be careful how you handle colleagues, relationships and challenging situations. You might wanna just be careful how you say things. The ox can um, project stubbornness and unreasonable behavior. So bear that in mind, snakes. And your tarot message is the magician. Where's my magician? There he is. You have the magic touch. Dreams can become a reality. You have what it takes to manifest your de desires this year, but be aware of using manipulation to get what you want. Use positive creative power to enhance things, not destruct things. Then we move on to the horse, the year of the horse. So the horses may have uh, been having a difficult year and, and could continue to have a little bit of a difficult year. Slightly better though. Last year was a year of the rat, which is the horse's natural opposite. This year the ox uh, won't be quite as hostile towards you. Horses can succeed by maintaining more control in personal interactions, although romance may be problematic. The horse is easily excited and the ox is quite even keel and steady. So respect that and all will be well in 2021 and your tarot message horses is the ace of wands so new creations new ideas new opportunities it's all happening for you saddle up the time is now to act you have a high drive and excitement to match there is so much potential for you you just got to go out there and grab it okay now the sheep the ox and the sheep are opposites so it could be a little bit of a challenging um, year for the sheep as if last year wasn't enough um, sheep cannot create new opportunities um, and have to perform what might be considered repetitive work you know we all follow sheep don't we that's that's the saying there so stay with the program don't get um, too much of in the mud or get your finances ordered where you can and use the ox's energy to try and uh, ground yourself and be ordered get ordered and get organized okay your card is the Four of Cups. Now, you may feel that, uh, hold on, I've lost my Four of Cups, but anyway, I know what this is. The Four of Cups, Cups. you may feel a bit bored, you may feel a little bit fed up, and you may want to hide or sulk somewhere in private. But this is okay for a little while, but not for, don't go on, because you could miss opportunities. Keep your head above water, reach out for help if you need a little bit of help there. Try not to miss opportunities when they appear. Okay, now we're moving into the monkey, the monkey year. Are you a monkey? So um, the monkey year, really the monkey can be a little bit, you know, mischievous. It's clever, but can be mischievous. They prefer um, fun rather than hard work, and this year is about hard work. So luckily, your sense of humour and charm in nature will win you over, but you may find it hard to remain on track and get things done this year. It will serve you well to put in that extra mile roll your sleeves up and crack on. But if you do, if you collaborate with others, you could get away with a little bit of light work there. And your card is, tarot card is the Eight of Cups. So ask yourself what is missing in your life. Ask yourself, um, are you leading a 10 out of 10 life? Or is something missing there? You may have to leave something behind in order to get what you want. Deep inner work will be important this year and focusing on what's, um, what's gonna be emotionally contented contented for you okay the rooster you're in for a lucky year roosters you blend nicely with the ox you're one of your little mates there um you are used to working hard roosters as well so this year be more comfortable than some of the others you can recover from last year's traumas and start to prioritize your daily routines remain dedicated and true to yourself for best results and try to get into an even kill um, on a daily basis there. Now your um, tarot message is the four of wands. Time to celebrate. You have a celebration, you've, got, you've achieved much, perhaps you've got proposals coming in around you, who knows? You've got good friends, good work, appreciation, and you're reaching milestones. So celebrate with others as much as you can this year and success is coming your way. Now we have the dog. Okay, so uh, the dog might not be so lucky this year. Um, 
try being flexible and not meeting resistance okay the dog likes to look after the underdog and could be easily distracted while the ox favors a steady progress and commitment dog like to try new things the ox likes stability so and endurance so you may may find that staying on track dogs is a little bit more harder this year than what you want and your actually your card is the eight pentacles so focus hard work and uh, putting all your eggs in one basket here don't spread yourself too thin dogs prioritize things put things uh, put that extra finish to things before starting something new okay look at what needs finishing look at what loose ends need tying up before you start new things there and last but not least it is the pig Pigs like to follow suit and are comfortable working hard. They like slow, steady progress. So good work opportunities could come up for you pigs this year. Using the energy of the ox's strong work ethic will do you favours. And your tarot card is the Ace of Cups. So love is in the air. This could be literal with new relationships or, or uh, improving current relationships, but also falling back with love itself and falling in love with you it will be an important year to find peace within and nurture your own soul new creative ventures also feature in, including more focus on spiritual matters or bringing in more creative vibes to your world so there you have it that's what the ox's energy brings in so in a nutshell the ox is all about hard work determination stability focus getting that job done let's just roll our sleeves up let's just crack on for another year and um, before we can um reap our rewards but for some of you this is going to be much easier for others it's going to be a little bit, little bit tricky but rest assured if you use the energy wisely next year you will have a much more abundant time so you've been warned happy chinese new year